Hi everyone, this is Dia with Eat, Run, Plan, Repeat. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, thank you for stopping by. The weather is changing and fall is coming and I thought I would switch into my burnt orange Filofax for the season. But before I did that, I wanted to go ahead and make some new dividers with some artwork that I got from Art Prints Factory. To start, I'm using a metal ruler, a utility knife, and a cutting pad. So before I started recording this video, I made some templates on Photoshop, which now that I've done it next time, I think I'll just purchase something from Etsy that's already made. I am very skilled in Photoshop, but it took me a long time to get these set up. And then after I did make the template, I realized I made them to exact measurements, which doesn't leave room for trimming once they're laminated. I chose to print these on vellum instead of regular paper and one of the good things about vellum because it's so thin is that once they're laminated you can trim pretty closely to the picture. In case you're interested in where to find vellum, the easiest place for me was on Amazon and this came in a pack of 100. I'll go ahead and leave the link down below. I do realize that you can use a page trimmer to do this, but I feel like with the vellum it's a lot more delicate and I have a lot more control with a blade and a ruler. And because I made these dividers slightly too big, I'm cutting just inside the black line. And here are all six dividers. I decided to use three pictures from Art Prints Factory and I also used another three pictures from My Eva Lily. For the next part of this project, I used Scotch Thermal Laminating Pouches and a Scotch Laminator. Normally when I laminate something, I'll push it all the way up against the edge that's already sealed because I like that end and how well it's sealed but because I'm able to trim a lot closer while using vellum, I went ahead and just kind of floated the two in the center. And here are all six personal size dividers and they fit in three laminating sheets. Next, I get my ruler, blade, and cutting pad back out to cut as close as possible to the original divider. And like I mentioned earlier, because the vellum is thin, you can trim pretty close. I purchased this hole puncher a while back and the thing I love most about it is that I can adjust it in size anywhere from an A5 to pocket size. Before I add these dividers to their new home, I like to make labels for them and I use the Brother P-Touch label maker with quarter inch labels. Right now I'm using white labels, but I think I'd really like to invest in some clear ones as well. I'm sure there are many ways to attach the labels, but what I do is just kind of hold them in place, trim off what I feel like needs to be trimmed off, and then I put them in place with tweezers so that I don't rub off the sticky in the back. So right now I have my heart set on getting a Foxy Fix with rings, probably the Boss Babe collection. But in the meantime, I thought I would make use of one of my other personal planners and this is my Filofax Original in Burnt Orange. I got these adorable stickers from You Gotta Craft That a long time ago and I just like how they look in here, but I thought I would move them to the top so that I could see the Filofax logo down below. And just a side note, I love to turn Art Prints Factory's images into iWatch faces. And this is where I realized that I really can't wait to get a Foxy Fix because this original is narrower than my Malden and I can't fit my pen in it. I know the Foxy Fix planners are a lot wider and should be able to fit my pen in them. Here's a quick flip of how my new fall dividers look in their planner. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'll leave any links to anything that I show in this video down below as well. 
And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and enjoying the change in weather as much as I am. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.